Hello, my name is Natalie Travers, and this week I will be teaching you the concert B-flat scale up to the fifth scale degree on euphonium. So today, I will be teaching you how to play the concert B-flat scale up to the fifth scale degree on euphonium. Now, the concert B-flat scale has two flats in the key signature, and those flats are B-flat and E-flat. I will first demonstrate how I would like to play this scale. To start off, I would like to play this scale for a full whole note. First, I will demonstrate how the whole exercise should sound going from that bottom B flat to that F back down to that bottom B flat. Now that you've heard what this exercise is going to sound like, it's your turn to start playing with me. So to start off, we will be playing the first pitch, which is the concert B flat. Now this concert B flat is played with no fingers, also known as open. First, I will play the sounding pitch and then we will play it together. your turn. One, two, breathe. Very good. Now if you're having a hard time getting out the lower note and you're hearing the partial above, which would sound something like this, remember to keep a very open mouth and very relaxed. Also with keeping relaxed, you want to remember that it's nice big full breath, a concentrated air stream, and just warm air. Now that we've learned the first note, we're ready to move on to the second note. The second note would be concert C, and that is played one in three or four. Now you might not have a fourth valve, which is perfectly fine for where you're at. If that's the case, then stick with one and three. Same as last time, I will play it first and then I will count you in and we will play it together. Ready? One, two, ready, breathe. to the next note of the scale, which is concert D, which is fingers one and two. One, two, ready, breathe. And the note after that, is E flat, and that is the second flat that I was talking about in the key signature, and that is finger one. One, two, ready, breathe. Next, we will be learning the fifth scale degree. And this is the last note of the scale that we will be learning today. And that is concert F, which is also played in open. So if you remember from the first note, that it's also played with no fingers. And that's what I was talking about before with the different partials. Now you have to speed up your air just a little bit to get to that next note versus dropping down to that concert B flat again. Awesome, you guys are sounding great. Now we're going to 
gonna work our way back down to that first scale degree, which is that concert B flat. So now that we just played the F, we're gonna play the E flat again. And if you can remember, that is finger one. One, two, ready, breathe. And now, after that E flat comes the D, which is one and two. concert C, which is finger one and three, or it's four if you have the fourth valve. And now we finally made it back to our starting pitch, which is that low concert B flat which is that open fingering. One, two, ready, breathe. That's awesome, you guys are sounding great. Now we're gonna try and put that all together nice and smoothly with you and I playing at once. Now, if you need to go back and review any of that, feel free to do so. But if you feel very comfortable with that and you're ready to move on, we can now start to play the scale as one. Now that you're feeling more comfortable with the fingering and the pitches, we will now start by just playing from that low concert B flat up to that concert F without going back down the scale at first. We will play this together and I will count you in. We will play each note for a full whole note, which gets four beats. And make sure you are taking a nice deep breath before every time you play. One, two, ready, breathe. seem like you're pretty comfortable with it. Now that you're feeling comfortable going all the way up, we can now start to go back down. Same idea with starting on that concert F, working our way back down to that concert B flat with the same full value whole note with the nice deep breaths before every note. One, two, ready, breathe. <laughs> the point where we're ready to put it all together. We'll be starting on that low concert B flat, working our way up to that concert F, and then back down to that concert B flat. We will keep playing this together, and I will count you in, and we will play for the full four beats and continue taking those nice deep full breaths before we play each note. One, two, Ready, breathe. <laughs> successfully learned the first five notes of our first concert B flat scale.
feel free to go back at any point in this video if you're feeling a little lost or you think that things are moving a little bit too fast. But if you feel pretty, pretty confident about what we've just learned, you can start to change things and maybe instead of whole notes, you can play the scale in half notes. If you would like to play the scale in half notes and give every note two beats instead of four, we can continue on and do that. But if you're not feeling as confident as the whole note scale that we just did, feel free to go back and keep practicing that. If you would like a little bit of a challenge and to continue on with the half note version of this scale, that's coming next. With the half note version, it'll be just like the whole note version, but instead of giving each note four beats, we will give it two. I will continue to do the same thing as I did with the whole note scale and count us off in 4-4 four, four, and we should continue to take those nice deep breaths whenever we feel is necessary. 1, 2, ready, breathe. <laughs> sounds awesome guys nice job you guys are sounding awesome already but don't be afraid to go back and keep re-watching this video if you're still not feeling too strong on the, what we just learned today I will give you guys some tips and tricks to how to practice and how to keep it fun and what I went through when I was learning I'm going to share with you some things that I personally struggled with when I was first starting out and how I fixed them so when I was starting out, I had an issue with having a very small sound, almost weak sounding. And what I really, really had to understand was that good, good breath support is very necessary. The first breath that you take and all the breaths after are just as important. And you really, really should be practicing taking nice, full, deep breaths and then releasing with that warm air. You should also remember to always stay nice and relaxed. It is never good to have any tension in your body when playing any instrument. What helped me get an idea of how much air I should be using was having someone tell me, oh, you want to blow through the instrument and not into it. You want your sound to shoot out the bell so hard that the, your roof blows off your house. Little things like this helped me mentally be able to visualize what kind of breath I was supposed to be taking. After some practice, I eventually was able to get up to where I wanted to be. Practicing is a super important part of playing an instrument. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Practicing your instrument should be something that you look forward to throughout the day. I love practicing. My instrument is like my child and practice time is like me and my child together and we're having a great time. Throughout my practice time, I like to start off with my scales and one of the scales is what we learned today. Scales are super important for your playing because they're like the foundation of your playing. Everything is built off the scales that you learn. Every piece of music has a key signature and every piece of music has those notes that you've learned in those scales. So, the better you learn your scales and your fundamentals, the better your overall playing will be. So, no matter what, you should always keep those in your daily practicing routine. Practicing should be very relaxing. While I'm practicing, I try to keep an open mind and play with the best sound that I possibly can, and I'm not worrying about impressing anyone. It's just for me. Your practice time is when you should figure out your personal kinks and personal things that you need to work on. So, it's okay if your practicing isn't as great as a performance would be. Make sure while you're practicing you try new things and you step out of your comfort zone a little bit and keep an open mind. It's important to stretch your boundaries a little bit to see your extremes on both ends, the very goods and the very bads, so you can meet somewhere in the middle and find something that you personally really enjoy. Practicing should never be boring. If you're practicing gets a little boring, feel free to switch it up a little bit and feel free to try and practice something new that you normally wouldn't or pull up a piece of music that you wouldn't usually play 
just for fun, just to step out of your comfort zone a little bit and look at something new. Overall, practicing should be fun and exciting. It should never make you feel sad or bad about yourself or get you angry because you can't play something correctly. If you find that happening, don't be afraid to take it down a level and slow down or like take it in smaller pieces just so you can get it under your fingers better and just so you can get your air flowing better and you can understand how those pieces relate to each other. Thank you so much for watching this today and I look forward to seeing you again next week with a new lesson.